Hey everyone, what's up? Today I'm going to show you how you can create an item info on item click. As always, here's the preview. As you can see, after I picked some items up, I press I and click on this item here. We have this cool item info box with the weight and value of the item and also the name and the description. And if we change to another slot, you can see how it resets. So let's start by opening your inventory system. If you didn't saw the previous tutorials, I'm going to link the playlist in the video description. Oh, and don't forget to join the Discord. There you can influence the direction of the series. So first, what we want to do is work on the inventory system. So go to the inventory and duplicate the vertical box. Delete the SB item container and then let's just move the new container to the right. Like so. Now let's get the border. This border should have no padding. And then let's get a second border. And into this border, we put in a text. So for this border, we have also zero. And now let's change the color of this one. I will pick a blue color from the original image, but you can pick whatever you like. And then for this one, let's get a padding on top of one. And as you can see, we have now here this cool border. Also leave it at two. Next click on the text. Let's get padding left and right to 10 and top and bottom also to 10. Maybe top and bottom to 20. And actually I don't like the color very much. So let's get here a little bit of darker blue. So click somewhere here and then Let's just duplicate this one and paste it in again. Then click on a text block and let's make it something like 12 and also light. And I have here a sample text from ShedGPT, which I put in here for test purposes. What you want to do is you want to activate the wrapping like this. And for the last one, copy and paste again. We can remove this text to some text again. And what we want to do here now, for me, this is the last part. So I will add adding of two to the bottom so that we have the top and at the bottom. Like so. For the text box here we delete this one and we get a horizontal box like so and then we get a vertical box this vertical box will host our text so get text so this will be our name of the property we want to show here so for example weight and we will give it not a name we don't need to give it a name but we want to have now the value, which will be something like five. But here we want to have a at light. And I think we change those values. Let's see what we have here, 12. So maybe we pick 12 here too. And for this one, we pick something like 18. So it's not as prominent. And you can say here to upper like so and maybe but just maybe we give it a bottom 
petting off five. Yeah, that's fine. But for these sides, we pick 20, 20, and 20. Like so, and we do the same here. And let's give it also bottom of 20. Or maybe for the top, we pick something less hard. Yeah, something like this. So now let's see where we have this padding here. We have here. Ah, this is better. Okay, now what we do now is we get our vertical box and we just paste it here in again and make sure to have it in the horizontal box. And for that you can use another for me it's value and I give it a value of 215. And that's it. Maybe if you want to make it a bit cleaner you can call this TB weights. And for this you can give it a name something like TB value. But we will bind it from here so it doesn't really matter. Before we continue to set the values we should set the visibility of this to hidden. So we don't see it at first so we control everything on ourselves. But let's give this a vertical box a name so we can actually uh, control it afterwards. Uh, vertical box item info and make it variable and inside your graph go to your event slot clicked so when we click on the uh, slot uh, then let's get from here the item data and let's promote this to a variable selected item so we always have the selected item and then what we want to do is get our vertical box item info and set visibility true visible go back to the designer inside here the first thing we want to bind is the name like so then for the weight we could just use the weight here from the selected item but we want to have a binding so now let's get the selected item and break this one and what we want to do here is we want to multiply by the amount and then we want to paste it in you can of course rename this and then do the same for the value Like so. And then get value. Yeah, and that's it. So let's test it out. Uh, press play. Pick some items up. And as you can see now, we have this cool item info. I think the border is a little bit too prominent. So let's fix this by going to the border and you can actually select the border of all the items at the same time and let's just bring down the opacity of this yeah something like this should work yeah it's much better so you can play around with those values but uh, for me this will work so what we can do now also is when we change the menu items this should reset so uh, let's get back to our graph to the event graph so find your clicked events you can paste it of course into the set clicked menu item but uh, i want to see it all the time so let's get the fb in item info and then let's set the visibility to 
to hidden. You can also use collapsed, but I don't think we need it at this time. Collapsed will remove the item from the rendering, but it doesn't matter here. Copy and paste. And here's the example. Pick some items up. Click on the watermelon or the axe, whatever you like. Go to weapon and as you can see, it will disappear. It was really that easy. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one. Bye.